All right, 12 18. You may be hearing some thunder across eastern North Carolina here as we start into the afternoon hours, especially around Lake Madame Mesquite. Showers and thunderstorms with some brief downpours in the Hyde County, extending across just south of Alligator River Bridge. And meanwhile, we're looking a little bit further into northern Craven County, Beaufort County area along Highway 306. A lightning strike there right now just being picked up with again some brief heavy downpours associated with this here. One last little stop takes us down into Onslow County just between. Between uh, say Seeds Ferry over towards the Swansboro area on the backside of Camp Lejeune, a shower of thunderstorm is starting to develop. But we've uh, broken the cap. The atmosphere is definitely unstable enough with some of that uh, sunshine peeking through for us here east of Highway 17. We're starting to see those showers and storms. Now we did have a pretty heavy cluster of storms around midnight here, uh, Pitt Martin and Bertie County. That kind of took some of the energy out of the atmosphere. It's east of Highway 17 where we haven't seen a whole lot of storminess here recently. Rain cold air, we're at 79 in Washington, 78 in Bellhaven, but 86 with that sunshine in Havelock, and same thing in Jacksonville for us this afternoon. Continuing to track uh, further off to the south and west, parts of Jones County, Craven County, Carteret County, Duplin, and uh, also Onslow, the chance of some showers and thunderstorms that could have again a brief heavy downpour, more than likely a damaging wind gust up to 40 to 60 miles per hour for us here. Uh, showers and storms, that's what we're going to be facing as we head on in through this afternoon, running a little bit above average temperature wise for us here, but we'll change those winds around to a northerly direction overnight tonight. Drier air starts to move in as we clear the skies out. This front finally making its way off of the coast. That's what's going to act as the block and not allow Hurricane Lee to get anywhere near us, which is now up to a Category 3 storm. But we are already starting to see the long period swells getting back to the ocean areas here and even off of Ocracoke later on tomorrow going into the day on Friday. Potential is there 8 to 12 foot seas offshore and that wind is going to be gusty out of that north northeasterly direction because of the difference in that high and the storm offshore. But that high will dominate through the weekend. We'll see those winds relax and it should be a fairly nice weekend coming away with a little bit of a taste of fall. Turn the AC off and open up those windows.